watching. Uh, thanks for hanging in there with us, folks. For those of you who are watching on YouTube, and uh, we just had uh, a plug come undone, so we had to reboot. And Raymond Holly did it. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> okay, I, I can't. Uh, I can't go bad on my on my classmate here. Well, actually, he was an elder classmate. He had already graduated when I got here. Working over there in Holly Hall with C.L. Crockett and Jerry, Jerry Kellum, that crew. Who else are we missing? Crockett, Kellum, Elroy Stevenson. Well, he was, that's my frat brother. He was, he was still here. No, he sure was. You're right. All right, back to the game, folks. In the box, Kerry Parker pitched uh, the entire first game. Parker, one of the bonus babies down there. Two to nothing, Braves on top. And, uh, huh. Figueroa with a uh, quick toss to first base. So is McKnight uh, wearing uh, number 29? McKnight's wearing 29, okay. Yeah. One and one, Rainia with the pitch. It's a foul ball. One and two, the count down. Folks, going back and uh, log back into our YouTube channel. Had a little snafu there, but we're back live. So grab it back. I want to send a shout out to Tracy Moore and is that Lisa Reddick, Wendell Davis, Chili Davis, and Delando Williams all watching. Those are all my classmates. <laughs> Watching exciting Panther sports. I was teasing the the gang from Oklahoma uh, with Aaron Talley. Uh, we know where Aaron Talley is. I was teasing Talley and uh, saying she was a uh, Smoky from uh, Oki from uh, Smoke Smokoki, whatever I said. We're just having fun, but we got about twenty people, about twenty people in uh, Oklahoma and area and the surrounding areas watching. Exciting Panther Sports. Now batting for the Alcorn State Braves. Number 14, the right fielder, Samantha Rodriguez. Here's the windup. Swing and a miss. And Rania heating up here. In the uh, first inning. Owen won the count. That one low. Ball one, strike one. Rainier with the wind up. Shotgun. Ah, oh, an error. And we're going back the other way. Throw it home. Yeah, throw it home. Well, the Panthers uh, kind of got the jitters here. In the uh, first half, the Braves uh, excited about it. Now batting for the Braves, the shortstop, number seven, Olivia Miller. Figueroa. And all we need is one here. Two runs, nothing for the Panthers. Miller is a freshman from Kokomo, Mississippi. Where is the other Kokomo? Um, Raymond Holly, Kokomo, Mississippi. Is it Kokomo, Missouri? There's got to be another. It's not Kokomo, Oklahoma, is it? Is it California? Let's ask HH over there. Hughes, I'm not too sure. Kokomo, she only knows Oakland. Maybe a little bit of Anaheim. She's been up there being bougie. Here we go. Here's the pitch. A swing. Oh, that one outside. Real close that time. Real close. Two and one. Or is it one and one? One and one to count.
Rainia. Here's the windup. Oh, yeah. She swung at it. Strike two. And uh, Rainia. No fault of hers. A couple of errors is uh, why the Panthers have got to, uh, or why the Panthers are down to runs. Rainia with a windup coming across. Right there to tally, easy peasy, and they're going to score one. No, they didn't because uh, that's three away, ladies and gentlemen, here in the William, pardon me, in the women's south. 2-2-1-2. Two, two, two. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the uh, middle of the uh, first inning, two runs, two hits, one error, and one left on base. Check that two left on base. I'm sorry, I've got these headphones in. Hey, folks, I want to remind you the concession stand open is open. Go on over there and ask them for some of those in a jar Hormel pig feet. That's right, pig feet in a jar from Hormel, sponsored by our friends from Sodexo, who makes every day a better day. Folks, stick around. We'll take a break. We'll try. Well, we're going to stay here in this one. We'll take a break. Take a break and come back here, folks, for the bottom of the first inning. The Panthers trying to get back in it. Down to nothing. At Prairie View A&M University, excellence isn't just a word, it's a way of life. For 147 years, we've been empowering generations of students to carry our rich legacy of distinction with them as they blaze trails and make a difference in communities across the world. Our high caliber faculty and rigorous academic programs prepare scholars to challenge the status quo and push the boundaries of knowledge. Pioneers emerge here and change makers are bred here. Excellence lives here. We're back live here in Prairie View, Texas. Nunez in the box for the Panthers. Nunez, the senior from Navasota, Texas. We're going to be ball two. Grambling State up one nothing top of the third over the Jaguars. Was this the Jaguars? Okay, Grambling playing Southern. That's a true matchup. Congratulations again to the Grambling State Tigers. Winning the Southwest Athletic Conference Men's Championship. That one is high, and that's going to be ball four. And Nunez will take a base. Coming all the way from right field. In the box for the Panthers. Number eight, Isabella Rodriguez. I want to send a shout out to uh, Ralph. Parrot, like the bird, my good friend. Here comes uh, the throw. Nunez thought about scooting on down the second. But uh, good recovery by the catcher, Jillian Walters. That one's high, and me, uh, Nunez, will easily get the third. Wild pitch by... Uh, Tanaya Fletcher. I I think uh, our boss, Ms. Thurston, has impressed uh, Holly with my abbreviation knowledge. We talked about it last night, but I just can't thank uh, Raymond Holly enough for uh, stepping in and assisting with everything, I tell you. There ain't nothing like being a Panther. Here comes the pitch. That one's high. Man, two high pitches, two wild pitches in a row. And the Panthers now in scoring position with no outs. Joseph Lane. AKA Rollo giving some instructions. And we've got the full package here. How can we keep these guys here in Pantherland? 
for another five years. What do you think, Holly? Well, we we're setting records here. It's going to be hard to, to top Vernon Bland's record here. Here comes the pitch. That one's outside, ball four. And now, Coach uh, Eugenia, Eugenia Fernandez uh, is going to have to make some decisions. Coming to the box for the Panthers. All the way from Natalia, Texas, where Beaver Stew is a staple. The catcher, number 10, Bibian Figueroa. Yes, uh, they do make beaver stew in Natalia, Texas. That one's outside. Here comes the throw. Uh, and we're in trouble on the chase down. We're in trouble on the chase down. And the Panthers get it. And we're going to third. Yeah. Rodriguez gets the third on the wild pitch. And the overthrow there to home plate. Wipe off that old plate, Mr. Umpire. And now the Panthers only down one. Two, two to one here in the bottom of the first inning, folks. No outs. Fletcher with the windup. Oh, that one's high. Looked good, but it's just too high. That one's going to be high. Rodriguez thought about it. Bland said, no, no, you're not that fast. <laughs> Bland, Bland with, I read his lips, he said, you ain't that fast. <laughs> Figueroa's still in the box with three balls. And that's going to be four. And uh, now, runners again at first and third. And here comes Fernandez. We're going to have to make a change here. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind you, man, uh, just to beautiful week of activities. Of course, the inauguration of our president, Dr. Tamika Legrand, is this Friday in the William Nix Center. Is it 10 o'clock? I think it is 10 o'clock. We'll check that. And also, the Honors Convocation is at 10 o'clock. I'm sure HH, probably all of these, you students are in there. HH, you're in the Honors Convocation this year? Yes, she is. All right. Good job. 10, 10, 10 o'clock, 10.30, we'll find it out here in just a moment. Give you the week of activities going on here for Inauguration Week. Um, just uh, all kinds of stuff going on here at Prairie View and University. Easy, easily. What's Easley's first name? What's Easley's first name? Lewis Easley, there we go. I want to send a shout-out to Lewis Easley. He's got a car show that is going to be uh, right on Orange Road, right across the street from the uh, – Police Department, the PB Police Department, and uh, coming to the box for the Panthers. The third base person, all the way from Liberty. Number 31, Jalen Davis. Pardon me, folks. Had to stop there for the uh, walk-up song. JD in the box for the Panthers. Ah, that one right down the middle, but a little high. JD with a good eye. So just to let you know, folks, uh, we'll, we'll go with that in a few moments. Honors Convocation Wednesday, Inauguration Friday, PB Relays Friday and Saturday. And a uh, car show early Saturday morning. Proceeds from that car show uh, team are going to benefit Prairie View and them athletics. Oh, that one was close. Kind of got it on the inside there, Fletcher. And uh, Fletcher now with three balls, man. We're going to have to do something here quick. Or they're going to have to do something here quick because the bases are loaded. Davis, they're going to be late. Yeah, well, that's ball four. No, he gives them a strike. Oh, that one, that's the same high pitch he called the ball just a moment ago. But that's okay. 3-1. I can just feel it. I can just feel the bases loaded. Let's use the force. And the bases are loaded. See, I was using the force then. And, of course, we're going to get a pinch runner for Davis. Or we'll let <laughs> – nope, we're going to let Davis stay on and run. Okay, well, base is loaded. Now batting for the Panthers, number 29, Tamara McKnight. 
And McKnight hit gets hit in the side, and we tie it. Way to take one for the team there, McKnight. And somebody's going uh, down to close the gate to the bullpen. Yeah, somebody's going to get uh, – they're calling them up now. Kapaya. Uh -huh. In the box for the Panthers, the shotgun. Shortstop number 24, Destiny Smith. Ooh, right down the middle. That's a strike. Tied at two. 10 o'clock for the convocation and for the inauguration. 9 o'clock. Okay, 9 and 10. 10 Wednesday, 9 Friday. 10 Wednesday, 9 on Friday. Student Athlete Day is coming up soon, Ms. Thurston. Try to find a date for Student Athlete Day. It's when uh, the athletic department honors the students. Man, what a April 3rd. Oh, nice slap by Destiny Smith. Left side, uh, but it's out of bounds. April the 3rd from 12 to 4 is Athletes Day here on the campus of Purview. And then right over in the, in the front of the athletic building, right there in the front. You can see it from the tennis courts. You can drive by. Go ahead. Hit and drive by and give the Panthers a haunt for just a year. Well done, a whole year. If you look at uh, our standings in the Commissioner Cup, we're still are leading at number one. I don't know my, by how many points. I really don't know how the system is going, but just by one point, 1. 1.5. So now we'll have to explain that scoring scale here in just a few moments. That one was high. But the Panthers leading 1.5. So for the Commissioner's Cup, I want to say congratulations to uh, the administration on campus. Uh, of course, our athletic director, A.D. Golf, and uh, our senior women's administrator, along with everybody that's in there. Oh, wait a minute. Smith drives back far, far, and it hits the fence. Wow. And the Panthers will score three and four and take the lead here in the bottom of the first inning. The Panthers get it right back. Okay, we're going to Spencer, Arkansas, Oklahoma. Spencer, Oklahoma is where she hails. The second baseman, number 56, Aaron Talley. Where is Spencer, Oklahoma? Is it next to Lewis, Oklahoma? No, I'm just teasing. Today was, uh, uh, tomorrow is junior day, oh, the 23rd. is junior day here on the campus of Prairie View and m University. What is junior day? I've never heard of junior Oh, high school juniors. Okay, oh, that's right, junior day. Getting ready to be a senior, you can come uh, for junior day here on the campus of Prairie View and University, March 23rd. A walk-up registration begins at 9 o'clock a.m. You can go to our website, www.bbpanthers.com, find out all the information. Ms. Nursing has it up there, plain as day. Kind of plain like, plain as the skin on your hands. Oh, you didn't put it up there? I thought I saw it yesterday. You didn't? Oh, you social media. Okay, I'm sorry. I, well, I, I know I saw it. I know I saw it there on our page. So it was on our social media page. But just go ahead and scroll through our social media pages. If not, get a pen. I'll tell you about it in a minute. I started to say again. Get a pen. I'll tell you again. Was a poet and didn't even know it. One and two, the count. Here it comes. <laughs> I got you. Thurston cracked a smile that time. That's gonna be two and two now. The count. The Panthers up four two. Lavelle Brotha. Is watching Lavelle Vale brother. Brother, Lavelle Vale brother. Ah, swing and a miss. And Tally with two strikeouts, man. Wow. Strikeout in the first inning and uh, one here in the second. Coming to the box with the Panthers. All the way from center field. A tree. Go get it, Garcia. That one's going to be low outside. Folks, for those of you who are listening to uh, the game on Panther Vision, go on over to our YouTube page. And we've had a lot of success. I'll tell you about it in a minute. Now, that's going to be a strike. One and one to count. So, folks, what we like to do is get you prepped on the Splendid Media Network and pull all of you guys over to 
Oh, there's a nice swing. That's going to be a pop fly. And uh, drop right between. Great run to second from Smith. Smith uh, Davis is on third. And the Panthers with the bases loaded. Now betting for the Panthers. She's the designated hitter for a reason. Number nine, Ariana Cruz. Well, Mike, Ursula, your offspring is in the box again. Let's see what happens. The bases are loaded, one out. And that one's on the left corner, strike one. I'll take a sacrifice fly here, uh, uh, Holly, uh, any time. Right center gap, here we go. That one's a uh, high, ball two, or ball, yeah, ball one, strike one. One and one to count. Westminster, California is where she hails from. Freshman. Isabella Rodriguez doing a great job for Coach Vernon Bland. Kimberly Steele is watching. How you doing? Thanks for checking in. T.A., you got to go over to uh, YouTube, to uh, the, the PB Athletics YouTube page. All of our all of our videos are up, and we just want to thank you guys. I'll tell you about it in a minute. Here comes a swing. Oh, that one's – what did she swings it. Nope, safe. She didn't break her wrist. That one was really close. Hey, we're at home. So, <laughs> what are you laughing at, Donald Carroll? Full count. Then, and that one's going to be a ball, and we're going to take a walk in, and that should do it for. Well, they're going to. Once again. On the hills of the Houston Livestock Show in Rodea. Coming all the way from left field. Take a break. Get that shin card on. And get ready to take it home. The left fielder, Mia Nunez. All right, Nunez gets in the box. And here we go. That's going to be a ball outside corner. Can't see the uh, awkward state bullpen from here, but I'm sure there's some bulls in the pen, if, if you know what I mean. Nobody in the bullpen? Miss Thurston can see that. Well, yeah, Parker went down there. The pitcher from the first inning ran down. The, I guess to check his – go check to see if it was available. I, I don't know. <laughs> Here's a swing, and it's a high foul ball. The Panthers up 5-2. I can't see the bullpen. I can – Oh. Oh. What? Ain't nobody in the – there isn't anyone there. There isn't isn't anyone there. <laughs> Ain't gonna hurt nobody to get on down. Here comes the pitch. It's another ball, and man, the Panthers are gonna run rule with walks if they don't watch it. Still gotta go four more. See, now we're just getting too slangish here. You said fo, as in fo. <laughs> we, yeah, we've been we've been just letting our hair hang down, Jamarcus. <laughs> I don't know. They use those kinds of uh. Colloquialisms in Garland? I just don't know. <laughs> Do they use colloquialisms like off and tween? You know what off and tween is. Get off and tween them cars before you get hit. There you go. <laughs> here comes the pitch. Two and two to count. Uh, another pop fly. Now we're going to have a uh, full count here for the slugger. For the slugger from... Navasota, Texas. That should be a full count, huh? Is it full count? Nope. Two and two? All right. Oh, Garcia takes it deep. It's going. It's going. Nunez takes it over the fence. Go get her ball. Mia Nunez. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Can I just go ahead and sing it for you? Or we'll just go ahead and sing it. Go get her ball. 
Nine to the score, and man, wow, the uh, the Braves uh, having it rough. New pitcher in for Alcorn State is going to be Ashanti Carter, a junior from Lake Charles, Louisiana, John Pete. Folks, we got to get those numbers up over on the YouTube page. Let's uh, tell a friend to tell 10 friends to tell 10 about exciting Panther softball, Lady Panther softball, championship softball, home run hitting base stealing Lady Panther softball. Folks, don't forget, uh, don't miss rather, the 2024 PV relays on the beautiful campus of Prairie VNM, March 22nd and 23rd. Come out and support the Prairie VNM University track and field programs. We want to send a shout out to Coach Clay and the entire staff there and the uh, track and field department. No, it's going to be a great and fun time out here this weekend. New pitcher for the Alcorn State Braves, now pitching a junior from Lake Charles, Louisiana, number five, Ashante Carter. Isabella Rodriguez in the box. Rodriguez in the box for the Panthers. Ball one. One out. The Panthers uh, with a huge, what was it, three-run homer? Was it a three-run or four? That was a four-run? Oh, oh, there's three people on there. Okay. There we go. Grand slam. No wonder they were so excited. I know it's called a grand slam, but I didn't know. Was, I don't think the bases were loaded there. When she smacked that one over there by the batter's cage. And is that a balk? Are they calling a balk? Okay. We're just watching them, trying to find out what the official was calling. The officials, uh, let's see. Behind the plates, Marshall Thomas. First base, Bryce Welch and uh, Walter Hill over at third base. And that's going to be another ball. And uh, Eugenia, Eugenia Fernandez, not very happy. Now batting for the Panthers. Oh, that's Holly playing. Holly's playing organ music. We're gonna we're gonna get a mixer over there and we can go back and forth. Now batting for the Panthers all the way from Natalia, Texas where they don't even know that, Lee. The catcher, number 10, Viviana Figueroa. One out, folks. A runner on first base, Figueroa, in the box. There's ball two. Looks like she made it. Yeah. Led with the hand, got up under the tag. And the runner advances to second base. Nine to two. The scores. The Panthers with all nine runs here in the first inning. There's a slap to left field. It's going. It's going. And it's caught there on the left by the left fielder. Almost got away. That win, yeah, from Kennedy Teary. Now betting for the Panthers. <laughs> the third baseman, Jalen Davis. Okay. Walgreens has drugs ready for her. That's a strike. Strike one. Davis usually watches the first pitch just to intimidate the pitcher. She'll just watch it and look at her. Yeah. Here's go. That one's going to be high. One and one to count. The computer is so old, it, it owes Compact some money. Ooh, man, boy, I tell you. <laughs> You're supposed to like your coach. <laughs> JD, <laughs> you're going to have to put up a, 
What do you call those shields, those uh, police shields? We're going to have to give Vernon one of those, folks. Uh, and she got up under that one just a little too low. And that's going to uh, retire the side the first inning. Wow, man, nine hits for the Panthers in that inning. Nine hits. So it's going to be nine runs. I think that one might have been 12 hits. I'm going to check with Miss Thurston. But uh, nine, nine runs for sure. Three hits, no errors, and one left on base. Again, at the end of the first inning, nine runs, three hits, zero errors, and one left on base at the top of the second inning. The score, Prairie View 9, Alcorn State 2. Hey, Prairie View University softball team will be on the diamond tomorrow, March 19th, to continue to host the Alcorn State Braves. The first pitch is at 10 o'clock. Come on out and support your Lady Panthers. If you're watching, come on back and watch the Lady Panthers take on the Alcorn State Braves in game three on tomorrow. The Panthers leading 9-2. Stick around. We'll take a break. Take a break and come back with uh, the second inning. This is exciting Panthers softball. Oh, I know. At Prairie View A&M University, excellence isn't just a word. It's a way of life. For 147 years, we've been empowering generations of students to carry our rich legacy of distinction with them as they blaze trails and make a difference in communities across the world. Our high caliber faculty and rigorous academic programs prepare scholars to challenge the status quo and push the boundaries of knowledge. Pioneers emerge here and change makers are bred here. Excellence lives here. Welcome back to the Nick Center, ladies and gentlemen. In the box for the Alcorn State Braves, the catcher number 12, Jillian Walters. Walters, Cotton, Edwards, and Terry, the lineup for Alcorn State. Top of the second inning. And let's see here. We can get back to see how many pitches have been thrown. About 80 pitches thrown in the first game, uh, Rainia, uh, close to 20 pitches, approximately, unofficially close to 20 pitches, 30 pitches, oh, I was way off, 30 pitches for Rainia, Rainia in the first inning, that curveball, you know, <laughs> wow, what a pitch from Rainia, curve to that outside corner, one and one to count, Walters in the box for Coach Fernandez. Here's a slap there to Jalen Davis. Davis with the toss. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, she, look, she implanted her foot in the base to make sure <laughs> that she caught that one. Great catch, great stretch. I like, I like the softball first baseman when they catch it and have to do the split. Tamara McKnight with the catch. Now batting for the Braves, number 22, Jemiah Cotton. Oh, inside corner, that's a strike, yeah. Rainier on fire. 36 pitches for Rainier. Is it 36? 33, golly gee. I missed it. <laughs> Jamarcus kind of likes it. All right, keep up with it, Jamarcus. It's 33 pitches. Help the big dog out. Here we go. Swing in and an attempt at a bunt. That's going to be a strike. 0-2 the count. I tell you, all of this equipment our athletic director is privy us with has uh, made us have to get a bigger press box. We've got Woodlawn Entertainment with all their equipment in here, monitors and flux capacitors and all that kind of thing going on in here. Here's this pitch outside ball one, one and two the count. Oh, wow, I want to send a shout-out to my classmate, Andre S. Johnson, your frat brother, Raymond Holly, K.K. Sy. Man, some stories I could tell. I remember, uh, well, let me just stop it. He went to Madison High School. Here comes the pitch right over the right side corner, and she's out of there. Got her. Got her standing there. Man, what a pitch. Looking. Okay, looking. Standing, looking, 
She was standing up there looking at that one go by. She watched it. Said, okay, all right. Me and Miss Thurston are starting to get back in tune together and stuff. She tells me what to do. I listen and see it. <laughs> standing there looking at it. Number four is in the box. I'm sitting here getting clarification here and uh, miss the batter in the box, folks. It's going to be uh, the uh, center fielder, Christian Edwards. In the box for Alcorn State, pardon me, folks, the center fielder, Christian Edwards. Twenty-three strikes for Rania here in game two. Thirty-seven pitches. Let me see how close I am. Thirty-eight. Oh, golly gee. Come on, Jamarcus. What are you doing? I need a clicker like an official. There you go. I think I might buy me one. We'll ask Miss Porter if I can use my allowance to do that. Here we go. Here comes the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Strike two, one and two the count. One more. Man, a lot of stuff going on in athletics, folks. You really got to stay tuned to Splendid Media. But all you got to do is go to the webpage. Everything is there in plain sight. You remember when you used to fuss about not knowing? Well, it's your fault if you don't because it's on the webpage at www.pbpanthers.com. We have a full week of activities for you. Splendid Media will be here tomorrow. Uh, we will be on campus on Wednesday. Raymond holly has got us doing something. And then on Friday, uh, the opening day of the Prairie View Relays, the inauguration is there. Oh, Wednesday is the convocation. We're going to come in and, and chat a little bit around the convocation. Here comes the pitch. A swing to first base. It's going to be an easy-peasy tag to tally, and it's out of there. And we're heading to the bottom of the second inning. All zeros across the board, ladies and gentlemen. Zero runs, zero hits, zero errors, and no one left on base. Don't forget the Prairie View and the University's softball team returns to the Diamond tomorrow at 10 o'clock to take on the Alcorn State Braves right here in the Women's Softball Complex. Stick around. We'll be back with more exciting Panther softball after this important message. With Academy Sports and Outdoors, you can take outdoor fun to a whole new level with just the touch of a button. Because there's so much to discover on the Academy app. Create your dream outdoor living space that gets the whole family out there spending time together. Master new recipes with just the right amount of heat and the perfect spice or seasoning. And give the kids even more ways to play. Great times are waiting. Download the Academy Sports and Outdoors app today. Welcome back to welcome back to the Prairie View University Women's Softball Complex. The uh, the lineup for Prairie View and M: McKnight, Smith, Tally, and Garcia. McKnight, Smith, Tally, and Garcia. The lineup for the Panthers. Now batting for Prairie View and M University. To Mary McKnight. Well, I yeah, she almost she's really throwing it inside. I've got to, let's see, this is gonna be twenty nine right here. There we go. I made a mistake there on my stats. Well, he the uh he <laughs> see McGowan back in there. McKnight tried to to stop the pitch right in the middle of the windup, so she's gonna eat a strike there. One and one to count. There it is, a swing and a miss, and it popped the uh, <laughs> popped the official Bryce Harris on the on the shin. That looked like it kind of hurt. <laughs> That's what you get. No, I'm just teasing. Well, uh, Andre Johnson, my classmate from Madison High School and Prairie View and M University, he's got he's got a son in high school at Madison, supposed to be the three point shooter of the new eon. We, this I got to see. There's a swing, and uh, everybody's just trying to hotline coach. Must have made them run some extra laps or something. One and two the count. Folks, for basketball season, because of you, the Panthers on YouTube reached about 31,280 views and a swing and a miss. 
And they're excited about that one. She stretched out to get that one. And that will be the first out of the inning. Coming with some double odd book shots. She can do it. The shortstop, number 24, Destiny Smith. Okay, here comes the first pitch to Smith. We'll go back to the viewer stats in a minute. That's going to be a strike. Yeah, 31,000, I think 820 on YouTube. If you add Splendid Media's pregame shows and all of the things that we did for basketball season, uh, we're over 50,000 views. And I am that is just amazing. And it's all because of you guys who continue to watch us, continue to like and subscribe the channels, and continue to – you know, go and, and send it to your friends. We, we just thank you so much. And we're about to go out and start soliciting sponsors with those statistics. Raymond Holly says it uh, should be okay. 2-1, the count. One out. Bottom of the second. And Destiny Smith. Not quite to the fence, but takes a deep, nice shot. She'll bring it on back to the dugout. Now batting for the Panthers from nowhere else. Nowhere else in Oklahoma but Spencer. <laughs> the second baseman, number 56, Aaron Talley. That's for our friends uh, who uh, was fussing at me. Man, she's not from no smoky Oklahoma. I know she's from Spencer. It's Aaliyah. And I uh, talk quite a bit about Spencer, the big town of Spencer. Got more than one Popeyes there. That's a huge time. <laughs> Here we go. Tally takes another ball. That one's inside. Saw it when it left. Oh, right in the inside corner. Oh, come on. The He's got to wipe, wipe off that plate. I want to see the replay on that one. That one left outside corner. Three and one to count. Tally swings it, hits it. Going. And center fielder's got it. That's going to retire the side at the end, folks, of the second inning. Zero runs, zero hits, zero errors, no one left on base. Stick around, folks. We'll take a break, come back with the top of the third inning. This is home run hitting championship Lady Panthers softball right here on the Prairie View Andam University Panthers Sports Network. Hey, John, what made you become a Cricket Campus Ambassador? Do tell. I live to network. HBCU's all about that. The key word being network. <laughs> oh, like a certain network that has speedy 5G and is a proud sponsor of HBCUs? I see you could take a hint. <laughs> I can drop a hint too, Don. <laughs> Is that eight? Thirteen, come on. It's a part of William Nick Center, folks, in the Lady Panthers softball field. Man, ten weeks of uh, the William Nick Center. I can't get it out of my mind. Here's the lineup for the Auckland State Braves. Well, looking for number eight. Number eight's not listed on there. Eight is who? Pitch hitting for the Braves. Number eight. Yana Acevedo. Acevedo. Yana, hold on, I wrote it down. Yanaya Acevedo. Yanaya Acevedo in the box for Auckland State. I wrote it down there. Some of those acronyms. Uh, 
Can you say it phonetically, Charles? Sure I can. Here we go. Rainya with a swing and a strike. After this batter, folks, we'll uh, check our pitch count and see how uh, Rainya's doing. At 43 now? Okay, she's at 43 pitches here in the top of the third inning. I think Massey was around 96 in game one. I think he said 96. I don't know why I have that one in my mind. Around 96 pitches, though, close. We averaged it at about 12 pitches per inning. We got out at five. So that would have been 60. Rania with a stop. Hotline pitch choice. Now, would that be a fielder's choice or a pitcher's choice? Nobody else on base. Okay, so the fielder's choice, that means you have an option to throw it to either base that you think you can get the force out. So, yeah, I'm just uh, going over some of my uh, – some some of my abbreviations you sent me. <laughs> okay, so we had a pitch hitter now. Hotline. Right back to the pitcher. Well, Rainya getting a workout. Rainya getting a workout here. In the top of the second inning, coming to the box for Alcorn State. The center fielder checked at the first baseman, Kelsey Lockridge. The first baseman, Kelsey Lockridge, in the box for Alcorn State. Mm -hmm. Hey, we want to welcome the women's bowling team out today, along with uh, a couple of players for the uh, men's softball, uh, baseball team. Thanks a lot for coming by. Men play softball. I, I played a lot of softball. Did we play softball here, uh, Raymond Holly? Man, look, I still got my trophy. The two of them. I, we won two years in a row. I was on Jerry. I was on my frat brother, Cujo's team. Well, this was one of the four intramural fields, but we were playing behind the, the Memorial Student Center. That's what we were playing. Jerry Calloway, most courageous Panther, Cujo, had a team called Just Us in the summer for NMU. It was one, two, year, two years in a row. I was uh, moving my mother, God bless her, uh, this summer in with my sister and came across those trophies. Guess where they're at now? There's a swing and a foul ball <laughs> right on my mantle. One and two the count. Two outs here in the uh, top of the third. What do you mean I don't have a mantle? That's just a shelf. It's over the fireplace, Donald. Trying to rank on me here. Here comes a swing, and that one should be easy. The shotgun gets it. Yeah, out of there. And Destiny Shotgun Smith with another kapaya. All zeros, huh, boss? Zero runs, zero hits, zero errors, and no one left on base headed to the bottom of the third inning, ladies and gentlemen. The Panthers on top of Alcorn State, 9-2. to two. Make sure to visit the concession stand, folks, for some cold drinks, some popcorn, some cotton candy, and also some of those good old smoked oysters and oil. Man, they're tasty. Sponsored by Bay Choice. Zeros. At Prairie View A&M University, excellence isn't just a word, it's a way of life. For 147 years, we've been empowering generations of students to carry our rich legacy of distinction with them as they blaze trails and make a difference in communities across the world. Our high caliber faculty and rigorous academic programs prepare scholars to challenge the status quo and push the boundaries of knowledge. Pioneers emerge here, and changemakers are bred here. Excellence lives here. Well, we're going to have to be careful with our crowd noise mic out there. The 
our friends uh, with the 45-second rule has stopped our video. We're back live, though. Okay, folks, bottom of the third inning, 9-2. to two. Couple of balls here early. In the count. Ball three, and man, uh, I tell you, Coach Fernandez having some pitching issues. And she'll take a strike there. With three balls, I'll take one strike. And a swing, and it's going to be an easy one there. Left field. Now batting for the Panthers, the designated hitter. Number nine, Ariana Cruz. Ball one on Cruz. No runs here in the first inning, or third inning, pardon me. Cruz showing bunt. Cruz with a nice slap, but it's another foul ball. Nunez running the bat down, helping a teammate out. And that's a ball. Two and two to count. And a grounder should be easy. And she's out of there. Come on, cowgirl. All the way from Navasota, Texas. Left fielder. Number 22, Mia Nunez. Got to get my Tank Stram voice going on there when, uh, yeah, she's a country girl. A former Rattler from uh, Navasota, Texas. Nunez, I tell you, has been huge for Coach Vernon Bland. I don't know what he's going to do next year. Uh, 13 seniors on this team, Miss Thurston. 13 of them getting out of here. I have to give new meaning to the word reload. We don't rebuild. We we reload. Uh, another slap and a grounder to the second baseman. That's going to retire side. Zeros across the board, ladies and gentlemen. Zero runs, zero hits, zero errors, and nobody left on base. Headed to the top of the fourth inning, ladies and gentlemen, here in Pantherland. The score, Prairie View 9, the Braves 2. Stick around, folks. We'll be back with more exciting Panther sports after this important break. At Prairie View A&M University, excellence isn't just a word. It's a way of life. For 147 years, we've been empowering generations of students to carry our rich legacy of distinction with them as they blaze trails and make a difference in communities across the world. Our high caliber faculty and rigorous academic programs prepare scholars to challenge the status quo and push the boundaries of knowledge. Pioneers emerge here and change makers are bred here. Excellence lives here.
Soon you'll let it play out. We're back live here in Pantherland, ladies and gentlemen. Charles Porter, Donald Carroll, H.H., Hanaya Hughes, Raymond Holly, Latanya Thurston, and Trez Montagil. Sounds like he's on a Family Guy. One of the Montagues on Family Guy, right? All right, here we go. The uh, Braves in the box at the top of the fourth inning. Depending on what happens in the next inning and a half, Mr. Thurston, uh, two innings uh, will determine if we're going to play past five. The Panthers on top nine, two. Need one more run. The Panthers would need one more run. Kiri Parker, the designated hitter in the box for the Braves. Rodriguez on deck. Miller and Waters. Walters in the wings. Two balls. And there's a slap there in the left field right between the shotgun and J.D. And the runner's on base. No outs for the Braves. Now batting for Alcorn State, the right fielder, number 14, Samantha Rodriguez. Fifteen for three. Now pinch running. Kennedy pinch running for Alcorn State. Sarah Kennedy is at first base. Kennedy is a junior from Oshawa. And a nice chase down by Go Get It Garcia. Go Get It. Now batting for Alcorn State, the shortstop, number seven, Olivia Miller. I want to send a shout out to my classmate James Adair, the third who was watching. Saw saw, saw one of our pals on uh, the uh, NAACP Awards on the other day there, James Adair. Also, Paula Phillips is watching. Thanks so much. Please share, 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 and subscribe to our channel. At Splendid Resource, at Splendid Media Resource on the YouTube channel. And of course, continue to subscribe to the Prairie View University Athletics YouTube page first. Then you can come over to Panther Vision. How about that? Ball one, strike one, one out, top of the fourth. Rainier, oh man, has it slapped, takes a bounce. And the Braves with two on. And the Panthers just setting it up for a double play. How about that? In the box for Alcorn State, the catcher, number 12, Jillian Walters. Jillian Walters and the box. Oh, that one's a high pop fly going left. Davis got her. Oh, yeah, she's out of there. Well, <laughs> golly gee, Willikers. Two hits, huh? No runs, two hits, zero, 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 two, zero, one. Folks going into the bottom of the fourth inning, zero runs, two hits, zero errors, and two left on base. Well, folks, the Panthers, if they can catch another run in this inning and stop them at the top of the fifth, then we'll be going home early. Stick around. We'll be back with more exciting Panther sports 
on the Prairie View and the Panthers Sports Network. HBCUs are anchored by legacy. They nurture the talent and determination of their students and prepare them for a bright future. The Home Depot's Retool Your School program has and still believes in the excellence of HBCUs. Committed not just in speech, but through the revitalization and upgrades of the campuses these students call home. Building, planting, tilling the dream, all hearts and countless volunteers on the ground. Retool Your School, we're powered by purpose. Welcome back to the Women's Softball Complex. Hey, folks, here's the lineup for the Panthers. Rodriguez Figueroa, Davis McKnight in the box for the Panthers. The right fielder. Number eight, Isabel Rodriguez. That is still... Uh, <laughs> Such an interesting walk-up song for Isabel Rodriguez. Her, her parents used to live by the skating ring. That's why they liked that song. How about that? Oh, that one's right across strike. One and one to count. Panthers need one run, and they need to shut out the uh, Braves in the top of the fifth inning. Oh, there's a swing. There's one, and it's going to be a pop fly. And one away. Coming to the box for the Panthers where she's very familiar with it. The catcher, number 10, Bibiana Figueroa. Figueroa with a slap right there to second base. Out to first base and she's out of there. Coming uh, to the box. Some come for the softball. I come for the atmosphere. In the box, Jalen Davis. And that one comes inside on Davis. No hits here in the... And a slap right there, easy peasy. And one, two, three, three up, three down, folks, here. And the top top of the uh, fourth inning, or bottom of the fourth. Was it the bottom of the fourth? Heading to the top of the fifth. Well, folks, heading to the top of the fifth inning. We'll be around. Run, zero run, zero hits, zero errors, and no one left on base. Here heading to the top of the field. Hey, for all of the up-to-the-date information on all Prairie View and M University athletics, visit the official Prairie View and M website at www.pbpanthers.com. Come on, support your baseball team, your Prairie View University men, when they return to the Diamond for their SWAC opener Friday, March 22nd rivalry game as the Texas Southern Tigers comes to town. First pitch set for 3 o'clock p.m. right here on the hill. Make sure you come out. And support your Panthers. Brianna Rain is still on the, on the mound. We're back live here in Prairie View, Texas. Here's a lineup. Cotton, Edwards, Terry, and Carter. Cotton, Edwards, Terry, and Carter. Coming to the box for Alcorn State, the second baseman. Number 22, Jemiah Cotton.
All right, Rainier. That's going to be ball one. Let's see, estimate the pitch count. Let's see, 59 pitches. Let's see. How close are we? 58. Oh, wow. 58 pitches. Jamarcus, uh, is it, you know, people from Garland can't help people take up. They don't do that in Garland, help people keep up with pitches. That's just not something they do there. Swing and a foul ball. One and one the count. Ring is wind up. Here is the pitch over the right corner. That's going to be ball two. Pro day here on the campus of Prairie View Enemy University for the Prairie View University men's football players. Fifteen athletes selected for pro day to work out for the Texans and the New York Giants. And uh, quite a feat. We uh, had planned on getting several interviews, strike two, uh, with all of the players. We wanted to do all 15, but of course we had Softball and had to get over here, and uh, they started kind of late, not to their fault. Just trying to get everything uh, put together, but it was really, really interesting. A precursor to the combine, and uh, this is where a lot of guys are, are noticed. Noticeably, uh, the standout was quarterback Trezon Conley on his bench press. You know, he put 225. See how many times you can bench press? And I think he out bench pressed everyone with 19. Lifts, I think that I think it was 19 to lead everybody. He's the beast. A swing and a miss, and another. That's two outs there. 39 strikes. Rania has thrown in this contest. 63 pitches. Batting for Alcorn State, the center fielder, number four, Christian Edwards. 36 strikes. 39 strikes in 63 pitches. Wow. Here's 64. That's going to be a ball. Oh, no. It's uh, 40 strikes. Rania seems uh, to get uh, better and better as she goes along. That's a swing and a miss on the inside corner. Strike two. Rania, oh, slap to, well, actually to the right fielder. Tally couldn't get over in time to get it, and that's going to put Edwards on base. Number eight, all corners. Oh. Acevedo in the box for Alcorn State. The right fielder. Here comes the wind up and the pitch. It's a swing and she's out of there. Set up for the for the double play. Tally decided just to get the easy one, and we'll just play for one here. Now batting for Alcorn State, number eleven, Janice Wells. Wells, I think, is number five here on the paper. Caps. That's caps there. All that's caps. Yeah. 
Ball two. Two outs. Acevedo in the box for Alcorn State's Fernandez. Here's the pitch. That one's outside. Ball one. No, oh, ball three. Pardon me. Ball three. That's Janice Wells, number 11. Yes, ma'am. Kokomo, Indiana. There's another Kokomo in Indiana. Okay, I'm trying to... Oh, she would have turned around. She would have got it. That's a strike. One and one to count. Two outs here in the top of the fifth. Here comes a swing and another foul ball. Here comes a swing and strike three. And that's another K. Zeros across. One left on base. No, no, we've got more. Zero, 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 one. Well. Family's here, so what you doing, woman? All right, all right. Give me a hook. What's up? What's going on with you? All right, folks. Uh, are we still live, or you got on the commercial? Are you doing the commercial, or are we live? Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I'm not being me. Zero one zero two. All right, folks. Uh, heading to the bottom of the fifth. Zero one zero two. Zero runs. Zero. Uh, one hit. Zero errors. And one left on base. Is this supposed to be the fifth inning stretch? I don't think this is supposed to be the fifth inning stretch, right? Or is it after or between? After five, okay. Do, do we have to listen to Take Me Out to the Ball Game? Can we listen to everybody? Can we do some CNC Music Factor? I mean, so people can get up and dance? Just check it. I don't know. I want all of the uh, now laters. 26. Now batting for the Panthers. Number 26, Audrey Fleming. Here comes the pitch. It's going to be low. Ball two. Oh, that one's inside. And uh, ball three. Good eye. 
by Fleming, the senior from Haslett, Texas. And that one's going to be outside. Oh, he calls that one a ball. That one was kind of, that one was right on the borderline. Did Bryce, did not Bryce, but did uh, Marshall uh, bail out the pitcher? Here we go, right there to the center fielder. Easy peasy. Once again, coming to the box for the Panthers. She's got a shotgun for an arm. The shortstop, number 24, Destiny Smith. Well, Tamir, here's uh, Destiny again. She almost took it to the fence last bat. Pop fly to mid-center field. Here's the pitch. It's high. And I tell you, they're having loads of fun in the dugout over there on the Panther side of the ball. Very quiet over there on Alcorn State's side. Ball two, strike one is the count. 21. And that one on the right outside corner for a strike. Two and two to count for the shotgun. Oh, that one's low. Ball three. Full count. There's a slap left field. The shotgun takes it deep. Oh, and almost. Only in checkers. Two outs. About ten more feet. About ten more feet. In the box for the Panthers. The second baseman, number 56, Aaron Talley. That one on the outside, corner ball one. Nunez on deck for, all, for the Panthers. That one's low, ball two. Fletcher still in the circle. Decent job, but the Panthers are really. That one's going to be high. Everybody knows the uh, folklore of Erin Talley. She's going to make you pitch to her. But uh, many, many. And you see, Bryce, it seems like Marshall keeps bailing the batters out when it's three balls. <laughs> or are the, are the batters just watching for that fourth ball? That's what they're taught to do, right? Oh, that's going to be four. And we'll take the base. Now we've got runners on first base. Here we come. Oh, she's a go getter. Go get it, Garcia in the box for the Panthers. The center fielder. Yeah. Garcia. Oh, no. She dropped it and she saved. Well, the Panthers got bailed out on that one, huh? Huh, H? She's not even paying attention. She's just ready to go. It's been tough. You know, displaying all her DJ skills, these people not ready for her, H.H. H. And that one's going to go on the right side. And that's going to retire the side, ladies and gentlemen. The fifth inning. And let's see. Zero, 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 zero. Folks, at the end of the fifth inning, zero runs, zero hits, zero errors, and one left on base. One. Left on base. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the fifth inning stretch. 
get on up off your carcass and kind of stretch out a little bit. Huh? Uh, Eric Dunn. Where's the? Uh, uh, I got spurs that jingle, jingle, jingle. Just trying to help us go along. I'm just, <laughs> just trying to help you out, H. Hey, folks, don't forget the specialists at Houston Methodist Orthopedics and Sports Medicine in Willowbrook are proud to be the official health care provider for Prairie View and M University Athletics. Thank you for all you do. All right, now. I don't know why we got to play this during the fifth inning stretch, but we do. Howdy. I think the Rodeo was last week, but that's okay. Nunez loves it. Can we get a couple of claps? One, two, three. There you go. Only one person clapped. One more time. Yeah, there you go. The Alcorn State Braves like it. There are three of them clapping now. Hey, folks, don't forget to uh, hop on over to the concession stand. They're about to run out of Manchurian ramen noodles. They've got about two bags left. Just add hot water, chili flavor, and limon, the only flavors left otherwise known as new news. Thank you, Marche. All right, folks, we're back live here uh, without any foolishness in the box. Is that number three? In the box for the uh, Alcorn State Braves is a number three. The designated hitter, Kiri Parker. Once again, the designated hitter in the box for Alcorn State, Kiri Parker. All right, folks, just having a little fun up here, ladies and gentlemen. That's why you love us, because we just let our hair hang out or hang down a little bit. Here comes uh, the pitch. Oh, nice pop fly. Look at Rania calm and coolly gets away from it. One away. I'll tell you, Donald Carroll hates when he can't come down to Prairie View. Now batting for Alcorn State, the right fielder, number 14, Samantha Rodriguez. Top of the sixth inning, folks, if you've just checked in. The Panthers all over, Alcorn State, 9-2. to two. Game one, Panthers blanked the Braves 12 to nothing. 96 pitches from Kalen Massey will get the strikeouts. Uh, Brianna Reina uh, closing in on 41 strikeouts. I know she's got 40. Strikeouts? Wow. She's got seven in the last couple of minutes. 81 pitches and 49 strikeouts. 48 strikeouts. Wow. Well, that one's going to be low. Rania. Not really showing any fatigue, but uh, I tell you, we've got a, got a gaggle of pitchers. Give uh, Donald Carroll and Jamarcus some trivia questions. There is a gaggle of what? Gaggle of blank. This is another addition to Family Feud. HH, gaggle of. She says, I have no clue, big dog. Only your corny butt would uh, think of that. Gaggle of geese. Oh, my gosh. Nice, nice slap right to tally. It's easy peasy. Yeah. Two outs. Now batting for Alcorn State, the shortstop, number seven, Olivia Miller. Okay, well, a blank of lions, okay? A blank of tigers, okay, I bet you get that one. Huh? A what of tigers, what is it? What's the word? Den? Oh, wow, you're smart. Here you go, right side. <laughs> On the corner there. Okay, let's see. How about one more? A pack of, if you say cigarettes, I'm going to stick you with this pen. A pack of, Jamarcus? A flock? No, not a pack of a flock. A pack of, don't say anything, Holly. We had Miss Edmund. Here's a nice pop fly right side. Figueroa can't chase it down. Okay, we'll have one more contestant. HH, a pack of, 
Wolves, ding, ding, ding. She got it. She, come on, that was easy. He said Newport. <laughs> Nine two here. Still in the box for the Panthers here. Uh, pardon me, Olivia Miller still in the box for Alcorn State. Thought that was a pretty good one. One and two the count. Okay, I'm gonna make one easy for uh for DJ so he won't feel like he wrote the Well I better not say that. Oh Figueroa got a G Willikers called it off and it bounced. She looked at uh over at <laughs> the coach Bland Black. I've never seen her miss one of those. Not Figueroa. She can't believe it. Okay, DJ, I'm going to give you an easy one. A herd of – could be a herd of elephants. I was thinking more cattle, but, yeah, <laughs> he probably would have said elephants. <laughs> yeah, a herd of giraffes? No. <laughs> zebras. Could say zebras, a herd of zebras. Oh, nice swing, and it's going to be another foul ball. When you're winning like this, you try to just pass the time. 9-2. 9-2 the score, top of the six. 1-2 and two the count, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, pitch count, please. I'm going to make up something. <laughs> oh, nice swing. It's, will it drop? Oh, it did. It dropped, yeah, shit, that one dropped. <laughs> Way to chase it down, though, man. Great hustle by Isabella Rodriguez, but that one did drop and pop in the glove. So now, folks, here, top of the sixth inning, two outs, runner on first base. Nice slap there to mid-center. And here we go. Runner coming home. And Alcorn State scores 9-3. Wow. Right on. Way to go. Now batting for Alcorn State, the second baseman, Jemaya Cotton. Well, that's one. Cotton. Now oh, we're really starting to hear a little chatter from the Alcorn State side, all seven of them. Here's the windup. Ball one. Here's the wind-up. Rainia. Nice one across the middle. That would have been a strike for sure. Good chop at it by Cotton. Got on it kind of late, though. Wind-up. Right corner, that's going to be a strike. One and two the count. Outside corner ball. Two and two the count. Two's across the board. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. 22 at bat. Wow. <laughs> Two's all across the board there. Take a picture of that, Holly. When was the next time you'll see all those twos? And uh, two, 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 two. Two, 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 two. Almost. Uh, here comes the shotgun. Boom. That's three. And uh, good play by J.D.
one two zero one. All right, folks, at the bottom of the uh, top of the seventh, pardon me, headed to the top of the seventh inning. Bottom, I'm sorry, bottom of the sixth inning, bottom of the sixth inning. One run, two hits, zero errors, and one left on base. One, two, zero, one here in the women's softball complex. Hey, folks, come out and support your Prairie View University baseball team when they return to the Diamond for their SWAC season opener on Friday, March 22nd. The Panthers will host cross-town rival, well, maybe cross down the street, around the corner, <laughs> about 50 miles away, Texas Southern. The first pitch is at 3 o'clock p.m. right here on the hill at Tanker Sleep Field. Make sure you come out and support your Panthers. Don't forget you can catch all the action. On the Prairie View University YouTube page, we would rather see your seat in the seats. What else we got, ladies and gentlemen? A plethora of things for those that you are still watching on the YouTube page. Let's see what else we got going on. Wednesday, Honors Convocation, 10 o'clock in the William Nix Center. I'm looking forward to see, seeing Crystal Edwards and Erica Edwards, our, my little assistant, uh, Mia Greer. Uh, will uh, be getting honors convocation, made straight A's. So we're so very, very proud of her. The big dog will be out there to see my little, my little niece get her award for uh, making the dean's list and having straight A's. And we'll talk about some more information here in just a few moments. Now batting for the Panthers. Well, it's number eleven, and we just got yeah, Kamaya Brown. I was. Uh, you told me not to talk when she's in the box. Now batting for the Panthers, number 11, Kamaya Brown. Did I say it right? <laughs> huh? Uh, two ball. Oh, not one ball. Count blue. 2 1. How's that? Do? That was the first pitch. You're right. I'm confused. Because that was the first, yeah, it wasn't no, well. Yeah, did nobody see it but us, or is no one paying attention but us? Well, we are the pay attentioners, though. We're the supposed to be, yeah, okay. You like that, huh? Yeah, okay. Well, got a G. I mean, how are you going to miss a whole pitch? That's another one. Oh, he's going to call it a strike high across the chest. Got G. Willikers. Full count. Well, I, we need to go back and look at that. We're going to. We're going to charge him a demerit, and he's going to have to buy a Waller County line for everybody in the press box that we won't tell. That's going to be low, and she'll take her base. Oh! She's pure country. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the box for the Panthers, the left fielder. She's a cat girl. Number 22, Mia Nunez. Well, I, I hear a, a couple of hecklers there on the Alcorn State side. What they must don't know, they, her mom and daddy got about a thousand head of cattle. <laughs> That's kind of funny. You know what I'm saying? You laugh like just because about this country. Your mom and them got a whoa, nice slap. That's gonna be a high pop fly, and it's gonna go center field. Well, Nunez. Almost takes it over. Real close, but only in checkers. Now batting for the Panthers, the right fielder. Isabella Rodriguez. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, don't forget on Friday, the inauguration of Dr. Legrand, university president. Here comes the pitch, and that's going to be a ball. Ball three. Okay, I'm going to say nine, Holly. What are you going to say? Guess real quick. 
And that's a strike. Three and one to count. You going to agree? Let's see. We're having some inner trivia, some alumni trivia going on here in the press box, folks. Here comes the pitch. That one's going to be high left side. Ball four will take a base. And here comes Fig. All the way from Natalia, Texas. Where they actually make possum stew. <laughs> wow. The catcher, number 10, Viviana Figueroa. Ball one. Fletcher, obviously, <laughs> knows about Figueroa. Nine. <laughs> give me a little dab there, Hogan. Come on, come on, come on. Give it to the big dog. Yeah, give it to the big dog. The ninth president of Prairie View and University. And uh, I got to give it to you too because you agreed. Yeah, we we knew nine presidents, seven principles. It sounds about right. I need to make sure of that. Don't don't quote me, folks. Seven principles or six, and nine presidents in the history of Prairie View and University. Nice slap across. And it hits the fence. And the Panthers will more than likely score to go, go, go. No, Vernon says, wait, oh, she should have went. She should have went. But Vernon, uh, hey, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. <sighs> Some come for the softball. I come for the atmosphere. In the box for the Panthers, Jalen Davis. Jalen Davis. <laughs> Jalen Davis. Oh, hold on. Let's see. That's my. Let's see here. Oh, come on, really? You got to be kidding me. I'm going to ride with you. Tell her, call me. Uh, hmm. Wow. Oh, she tried to sneak one there. Tried to sneak one. Ball three. Uh, Why well, she wants to, you don't want to pitch to JD there. Ten three the score, and here we come, and she's gonna go to the base. We're gonna get a pinch runner. JD's not gonna do any running. Still uh, nursing those spiked. She's been running. Well, she's starting to lift there on the left shin, where I hope they're not gonna give up. Time out here from the ladies of Alcorn State. Coach Eugenia Fernandez calling the ladies uh, to the circle. That's a Jeopardy, the theme from Jeopardy. Yeah, doom, doom, doom. I'll do it. Doom, 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 doom. Okay, no problem. I did. There you go. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Look at Figueroa out there uh, doing a silo of suplet. What do you call it? Uh, what do you call it in ballet? A silo plet, a suplet. Uh, come on, HH, uh, you're boozy. Silo plet, what do they call it? <laughs> she said, I don't do no. I don't know how to crib walk, but I don't know. <laughs> you don't know how to, I don't know how to do the silo plet stuff, you know. Strike one. Oh, man, I know what that is. The see, what is it? You know what I'm talking about, right? Pirouette. There it is. Pirouette. No, not puree. That's when you. Oh, man. Hotline to the. Oh, yeah. And she said. Oh. Yep. It was a force. There was a force. She had her foot on the base. So that was that's an out. And now we still got to. 
Coming to the box. The shortstop, number 24, Destiny Smith. Oh, right across the middle. That's going to be a ball. It was a little high. A little high. Two, two outs, folks. Bases loaded. Uh, that's going to be a strike on the outside corner. Smith with a one and one count. That one's on the inside. Ball two. Ball three. And that's going to be a strike. He's going to pull it to a full count. Oh, wow. Full count. That's a nice slap to center field. And the easy peasy for the second baseman. Wow. Well, folks, a couple left on base for sure. Uh, everybody, yeah, so three left on base. So that was uh, three, no errors. One, one, zero, three. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now hit it to the top of the seventh. Hit it to the top of the seventh inning, ladies and gentlemen, the final. One run, one hit, zero errors, and three left on base. One, one, zero, three. And here we go to the top of the order here in the seventh inning. Edwards, Terry, Carter, Lockridge, Parker. Edwards, Terry, Carter, Lockridge, and Parker. Well, folks, we're at the top of the order. The uh, yeah, we'll do that. We're, we're I'm I'm. Uh, let's see, who is that? We'll we'll turn it just a little bit uh, for those of you. Some people are watching uh, on their computers, but we need you to go to the YouTube channel because we had a little snafu. We got permission to go ahead and uh, turn it just a tad. But uh, in order for you guys to watch full video, go to uh, our YouTube channel. Prairie View and m University Athletics at PVAMU Athletics or you can just search at Prairie View Athletics or you can put Lady Panthers softball and all of that will put it up on the YouTube channel. Now batting for the Braves, the center fielder number four Christian Edwards. I want to send a shout out to Michael Juarez who's watching. Nice slap. Oh, gets it right over. Oh, man, that, what a toss there by the right fielder. Man, that was tie go to the runner. What do you think, folks? Samantha Rodriguez with a nice, pardon me, uh, the right fielder, Isabella Rodriguez. Can you believe the right fielder for Alcorn State Braves is Isabella and the right fielder, I mean, for Prairie View is Isabella, and then the right fielder for, for them is Samantha Rodriguez. Two Rodriguez's playing right field. Only I would find something nerdy like that, huh? Okay. <laughs> Can't help it. Hey. I have to talk to Lola about it. Ball one. 10-3, folks. Top of the seventh inning. And this will be it. All we need is. Pardon me? Oh, all we need is uh, three. And that's going to do it, right? And three outs and we're gone. Top of the seven. And Raymond Holly will be my best friends. 
We have no. Oh, it looked like a one out. Sure did. On the other scoreboard, yeah, that would have been the one out on the old scoreboard. We've got a brand new one thanks to somebody. Oh, there's a slap right there. Will we get a double play? No, we'll just take the. Well, we didn't take the lead runner, but we took the first runner. That's okay. We only need two more now. Now batting for the Braves of Alcorn State. Number 11, Jenny Scott. Well, we don't have her on the roster there. So, Oh, man, that was a pretty pitch. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, I see. It's going to be another ball. That one inside and a nice strike there by Rania. Closing in on about... I'm looking for, uh, let's see. Last we checked, folks, it was 40 strikeouts, and we were at around 63 pitches. Let's see what we got now. Here come 62 strikeouts and 102 pitches. Man, 102 pitches and 62 strikeouts. Strikes. Oh, strikes, okay. Oh, okay. I was about to say, 49, I, I was, I've been watching, but I'm just listening. Okay, there we go, 49 strikes. Well, I stand corrected, folks. I've been saying strike outs. It's strikes, strikes. I'm, I'm, I heard wrong. Yeah, stri I heard wrong. My bad. So, 40, that's still tremendous. So there's a nice pop fly. No, fall ball. That's just a little, little uh, under 50% of her pitches or strikes. Is that correct? See, that's why that's my friend right there. I don't care what I say. She's agrees. So she she gets the biggest uh, barbecue rib. That's what that's what's gonna happen with that. She get the biggest rib. Look, look, look. Donald Carroll said, you got some ribs? <laughs> Here we go. Here's a swing. to. Oh, no. Good catch. Oh, you should have just tagged her right there. Oh, my goodness. That one got up with a bad bounce. It jumped over Jalen Davis's head. Destiny Smith right there to, to catch it. Didn't tag the runner. Golly G. Willikers. Let's see, we go in the huddle. What what song should we play when we go in the huddle instead of a Jeopardy song? I'll give you two guesses. Just any 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 random song. Look, Jamarcus is thinking about some songs, but he's saying, Well, we can't play that. But <laughs> two songs. What one song? What one song? Set it off. There you go. I like that one. That's a good one. Set it off. I'm going to think of a good one before it's all over. Here comes Rania with a wind up. And that one's going to be low. Could play Beautiful Girls, Bruno Mars. Got nothing on you. That would have been a good one. Jamarcus likes that one. There's some other songs I could have played, but Chris Brown songs, I just, I don't know. Here goes a slap right there to the shotgun. Ah, uh, and she's going to be safe. Two outs. The Panthers need one out, folks. 10-4 the score. And all we need is one just a, a second a second too late. Great throw from the, the dancing shortstop. There we go. <laughs> they do the wave there. That's just so interesting, folks, if you look to here on the – yeah, 10-4 is the score. Okay, 
pinch hitting or pinch running? Who's pinch running? Is pinch running? No, nobody. Come on, Marshall. Tell us what's going on, bud. No? Nothing? Okay. Folks, if you are wondering, we're at the top of the seventh inning. The Panthers up 10-4. The Panthers need one out to finish this one. That one's going to be on the outside. Ball one. Tremendous game by both pitchers. Massey in game one and Rania here in game two. There's a nice slap right there. Should be easy. And we're out of here. And the Panthers, ladies and gentlemen, remain undefeated here in Prairie View, Texas. Undefeated in Southwestern Athletic Conference play. That's going to do it for us, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back here on tomorrow. And uh, we'll say bye here in just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to thank you for coming out. Don't forget, more exciting Panther softball comes your way tomorrow, 10 o'clock a.m., first pitch against the Alcorn State Braves. That's tomorrow, 10 o'clock a.m., right here in the women's softball complex. Thank you for coming, and have a safe drive home. How many pitches? Uh, let me see. The first in. Uh.